OK, so let's say I want to solve 5 tan squared x minus 38 tan x minus 16 equals 0 between 0 and 360 degrees. So this is another quadratic. Now, if you're not happy about factorising it, um, well, hopefully you are, OK, um, then you could go straight into uh, the calculator's quadratic solver, OK? Um, you could go, or you could try factorising it using our method, OK? So 5y squared minus 38y minus 16 equals 0. It's, if it's not one that you can immediately see, um, then you might want to go ahead and go, well, 5 times minus 16 is equal to minus 80. Then I'm looking for two numbers that multiply together make minus 80, but add together to make minus 38, um, which would be minus 40 and 2, won't it? OK, so minus 40 and 2. So 5y squared minus 40y plus 2y minus 16 equals 0. Then factorise the two halves. So we can have 5y, y minus 8 plus 2 lots of y minus 8. And so we would have 5y plus 2 times y minus 8. And so the original problem factorises to 5 tan x plus 2 tan x minus 8 equals 0. So either tan x is equal to minus 2 fifths, so putting that at 1 equal to 0, taking 2 for both sides, dividing both sides by 5, or tan x is equal to 8. OK, so let's sketch tan between 0 and 360. OK, so there's tan. Now, minus 2 fifths is going to be somewhere down here. So we're going to get two solutions, one there and one there. Now, if I do inverse tan of minus 2 fifths, uh, making sure your calculator's in degrees, I get minus 21.8 degrees to 3 sig fig. Now, clearly, that is not between 0 and 360. That's the solution that's going to be over to the left-hand side of the y-axis. So I can just add on 180, the period of tan, to get to the first one that I want. OK, so let's move this over here. So I'm going to add on 180 to that. Gets me 158 to 3 sig fig. So that's 158. <clears throat> And then I can add on another 180 onto that to get my second solution. So adding on another 180 gets me 338. Okay, so they are the two solutions to tan x is equal to minus 2 fifths. Now as for tan x equals 8, uh, if I... Pop that on my diagram, 8's going to be way up here, and so I'd be expecting two solutions. So the first solution, inverse tan of 8, is 82.9. OK, that's between 0 and 360, so that's that one there. And then add on 180 onto that to get this second solution. So add on 180, and I get 263 to 3 sig fig. And so I have my four solutions. So I've got, in order of size, 82.9. I've got 158. I've got 263 and 338. So there are four solutions to the original problem, 5 tan squared minus 38 tan x minus 16 equals 0, between 0 and 360.